<sighs> Today's a good day. As you can see behind me, I've got myself a brand new bike. 2020 Trek Remedy 8 uh, in an XL. Let's have a closer look. So, starting at the front, Bontrager tyres, Bontrager rims. Uh, tyres are 27.5 by 2.6. RockShox Lyrics Forks, 160mm, I've even put a RockShox fender on there with a little Prodigy sticker because I'm a massive fan, they rock. Um, just sorted out my forks actually, done all the sag right and everything. Uh, fitted some nuke proof grips, see there, brakes, tram guide are. Bontrager bars, now the bars come pretty wide on this, the bars actually came um, 820 wide, which is ridiculous, that is way too wide for me, I'll run mine at 780 at the most, so I'm running them 780 now, I might go down another 10 mil yet, I've undecided. Um, there is the stem with Trex knock block system, if you don't know what that is, it's basically to stop the crown of the fork and your brake lever smashing into the frame, so the handlebars will only turn so far, then they'll stop. Frames in a really nice matte black. This is why I actually went for the bike. I wanted it to be kind of stealthy, and then I wanted one accent colour, which was either going to be like a purple, an orange, or an Ossel for the lime green. Uh, Bontrager dropper, I think it's 150mm. Bontrager seat. Uh, as I said, 160 front shock, 150mm shock on the rear down, SRAM crank set, all the GX componentry at the back, so as I see it's a 1x12, um, let's say what we've got, they've got XR4 tyre on the back, getting 2.6 wide, and the front tyre isn't an XR5 if you're interested, yep SRAM brakes all round, SRAM drivetrain, um, Obviously not ridden it yet, it's brand spanking new out of the box. So I'm going to sort of break it in probably next weekend and then I'll let you guys know what I think about it basically. I will do a full review and there will be a lot of riding footage coming along of this bike. Right, let's just do a close-up sweep so for all you people that are interested you can see what you get. I've seen a few videos of these bikes online but no one seems to get really in close. So this is just for you guys that are possibly interested in getting one of these or haven't had the chance to get up to one close oh it also has that minnow link system you know so you can um, zoom into that so you can change the geometry just by flipping that little chip around I'm going to leave it as it is for now just see how I get on um, I tend not to change too much really it's like sort of do one thing at a time the writing's really nice it's kind of stealthy looking Got um, frame protection underneath. This is quite, actually quite, um, it's almost like a rubber as opposed to a plastic. I like that. Plenty of points for fixing on bottle cages, etc. For those of you who like your long sort of enduro rides, or I tend to run a backpack. I might take one of these headset spaces off. That's a, about five or six mil, probably too high for me. So one of those I might end up putting at the top. But again, this part of the video really is just for you guys who want to see everything close up but one thing i will say is i really like the finish on the frame as you can see here considering this is um obviously been welded that's really nice and smooth i like the way they've ground it all down if you look at the welds the quality of welds are really nice and another thing which i found out from the guys at the shop which i didn't know till i picked it up is basically if this frame fails cracks or a weld gives in, I send the frame to Shrek and they will send me a new one. So that's great for salon value. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The dropper lever, I also believe, is just one of Bontrager's own. So yeah, if you're looking at one of these, I mean, I've not ridden it yet, so I can't say it's the best bike in the world, but I did a lot of research and I wanted a sort of do-it-all trail bike the geometry on this suited me, the components I like. Um, so I whittled it down from, I don't know, 10 bikes to about three. Uh, and then eventually, after sitting on this and a couple of others, 
comparing the specs, comparing the geometry, I decided this was the one I wanted to, wanted to spend my money on. So there. There you go, people. Thanks for listening to me babble on. Um, over the next year, I'm sort of going to try and bang another 10, 15 videos on more riding. Um, so if you're interested in that, just follow my channel because I'm, I, you know, I'm getting old a bit now, so I'm going to try and progress as quick as I can. Thanks for watching. Cheers.